I'm in Galicia, on the northwest coast of Spain, on the hunt for one of the region's most sought after delicacies, pepper bears or goose barnacles. They're delicious, expensive, everything a gourmet ingredient should be. But they're also at the bottom of a 300 foot cliff. My God. The fast flowing water of the Atlantic makes the goose barnacles stronger, fatter, and tastier to eat. But abseiling into it is the only way to reach them. My God, this is insane. The powerful currents of the Atlantic are not something to mess with. Shit. I must be off my fucking rocker. Once the waves retreat, I've got just 30 seconds before they return to spot the goose barnacles and wrench them off the rocks. My guide tells me that if I hear a whistle, it means that the sea is coming, crashing back in, and I have to get out of the way fast. Oh, fuck. The waves are knocking me all over the place. I can see the goose barnacles, but I keep on being pushed in the wrong direction. Finally, I've got my footing. Fuck me, you gotta be quick. But I'm concentrating so hard on the prize, I forget the first simple rule. Hey. Listen for the whistle. the fucking stick. Shit. Gracias. Thank you. You need a license to collect goose barnacles like this, but I was quickly starting to think who'd want one given the risks. Arriba. Oh, shit. Breaking them off the rock turns out to be the easy part. I've only collected a few handfuls when disaster strikes. Everything I collected was lost to the sea. Oh, ah. Bag's gone. This is by far the most dangerous fishing trip I've ever been on. And I only managed a couple of handfuls before the tide filled the cove. That was hard work. I mean, seriously hard work. You're holding on, and then when the wave wipes you out, you're trying to focus on the grip, but everything's just so slippy down there. From 100 foot up, the swell looks nothing. Down there, two and a half, three meters high. When it comes in, it comes in big time. Whoa! Bloody hard. 